I'm Chad Reynolds with Bangshift.com and we're under a 66 Chevelle doing a five-speed conversion with Matt Graves from American Powertrain. And we're going to be showing you the complete sequence of how one of these goes together in a series of videos. And step number one to doing any five or six-speed conversion is going to be making sure that your bell housing is centered up on the back of your engine in relation to the crankshaft centerline. The reason for that is that in order for your warranty to stay good, in order for you to limit wear on the transmission and ensure that it's gonna be as smooth shifting and performing as possible, you want there to be no bind or pressure in one way or another on the input shaft. So it's a pretty simple process. Matt's gonna run the uh, breaker bar up at the front. We have a dial indicator that's up here on the crankshaft. Those are cheap, like you get them at Harbor yeah, Freight. Yeah, Harbor Freight for like less than 20 bucks yeah. for a decent dial indicator and a little magnetic base, it's not trickery, okay? It's really simple. So you jam the magnetic base on the center of the crankshaft in there, wiggle the dial indicator around, get it so that the tip is on the inside of you know, the, uh, the opening here, which is where the front of the transmission is gonna register. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a Sharpie, we're going to mark at 90 degree, roughly 90 degree increments uh, around the opening so that we can do some measuring. So right now, we are at our bottom mark. We are going to make that zero, okay? So, almost there. Okay, so we're at zero there. Now Matt's gonna turn it 90 degrees. I'm the Vanna White of crank turning. You are, <laughs> okay, you're at 45, about another inch. Right there, oh, you went too far. Back her up. I can't. Oh yeah, go all the way around. We can't back it up because it'll back off the bolt on the crankshaft, so. I've already failed at my job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we don't care. Okay, 90 degrees. That's half, a little more. So just a tiny bit more. Okay, right there. So right there we are at 47 thousandths. So 47 thousandths. So I'm going to have my zero here. I'm going to do my 47 here. All right, turn it 90 degrees more. You're halfway there. A little more, a little more, a little more, a little more. Right there. Okay, right there we are at, looks like eight thousandths. Okay, turn another 90. There you go, perfect. And now we are at 55 thousandths. So, what we'll do is we have already installed uh, adjustable offset dowel pins, okay, on this car. So, we will Loosen them up, you spin them around, it moves the bell housing. It's a little trial and error. You just wiggle the things around, play with it a little while, keep spinning it until you get it somewhere in the five to seven thousandths of an inch range. That's the typical yeah, spec, right? Tremec asked spec. for. So that way you know the things are gonna slide together. Now the other added benefit of spending the time doing this is that this doesn't require any heavy lifting. It doesn't require you to be like using any muscles and it will make it way easier to go plunk with the transmission yes. when you're done. So that's the other thing. It makes it way, way simpler. So we're gonna adjust the dowels. We'll play with it a little bit, get this thing centered up, and then we'll be ready to install the hydraulic clutch. So as Chad was saying earlier, we went back and made our adjustments on the dowel pins up here. And so now we've got zero here, five thousandths across. We're at plus 12 down here, minus 16. So you take the difference in that up and down and that gives you 4,000. So we're well within our spec right now. So we're ready now to put the clutch in and start doing the hydraulic clutch installation.